Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your work on Wednesday. I have not crocheted in multiple days. <laughs> let's say today's Wednesday. I think I crocheted um, Saturday. A little bit on my spring project for the um, Seasonal Yarn YouTube Hop. However, that project I'm thinking about um, starting a different one. <laughs> I realized that video is due to come out next week. Today's the... 15th is coming out on the 22nd so it's like a week next week sometime whenever I don't know I can't math really quick <laughs> but um the project that I started like in January <laughs> for it um it's it's just so slow growing and I'm just not enjoying it like I can I'll pick it up and I'll do like one row on it and then I'll be like oh I just don't want to do this so it's been sitting in there since Saturday or whenever I was picking up some yarn and then I did want to um crochet some other little things. I want to work on some amigurumis for Easter for my two kids, my nephew, and then another kid that's in the family. Um, there's another kid in the family, a new kid, <laughs> but I'm just, I won't be talking about it much because it's, uh, the one that all the custody stuff is going on with. I mentioned that in another video. I'm trying, I'm keeping it vague because someone needs to know. I'm just saying that now there's going to be four kids that I'm going to be crocheting for, um, for holidays and stuff. And let's see here. The oldest one is my nephew. He is 11, but he still likes, um, you know, crochet things. Uh, he's also like a video game nerd and all that. And then Jesse is, uh, almost seven. He'll be seven in like two months. Um, he still loves crochet and and stuff. He still plays and stuff like that. And then June and then the other one, and they're both, uh, little. So, uh, June is almost 14 months old and then the other baby. But, uh, yeah, so those are the kids I'm going to be crocheting on, and that'll be probably my spring project, um, because it's Easter, so I feel like that's spring, springy. <laughs> so I will show you that, hopefully, if I get them done next week in that video, so be sure to check that out when it comes out. So I did crochet one thing, but I cannot remember what day I crocheted this on, but it's the new square for the um, Repeat Crafter Me, I think it's called Animal Squares Blanket, and I got the other two right here. So the January square was a polar bear. So cute. <laughs> I lost a little polar bear. And then February was a horse, which is really cute. I like the horse too. And then March's was a lion. It took me a while to find some colors. My oranges and yellows are up there. You can't really see them. But I didn't have like the exact colors that I wanted. Like I, I prefer bright colors. But I mean, really, these two are kind of not bright, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so this is my line square. I think I made this. Friday or Saturday too. I'm not exactly sure. We, we ended up being busy a lot, so I didn't really get to do much crocheting. But I did use, uh, the color right here is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Cornmeal, which I love that yellow. It's like one of my favorite yellows, I think. It's really pretty yellow. And then the orange around here is I Love This Yarn something. <laughs> I don't remember. It is I Love This Yarn, but I can't remember the color name. It's up there somewhere. And then the uh, muzzle and the border is a uh, red heart Aaron and then the nose here is I love this yarn um uh, something almond toasted almond maybe something like that I cannot remember this orange one oh well it doesn't matter <laughs> but then I use safety eyes I think these are uh 20 millimeter no that's too big 12 millimeter maybe I don't know I can't remember but I did a pretty good job sewing it on there I, I am probably gonna line these because I wasn't going to originally but these blacks, I couldn't weave the black in on the white because it would show through. And I was like, dadgummit. Because <laughs> I hate lining blankets. It's, it's time consuming and just annoying. But, um, so I'll probably line it with, instead of, um, fleece. <laughs> I think I'll do felt for this one. Because it's a lot thinner and not as heavy. So, uh, not flat, not felt. Flannel. Flannel is what I'm thinking. Because it is a thinner fabric. And then these safety eyes, um, little pins, I'm probably going to cut off, cut down to a, a smaller size so that they're not so pokey. And then what I might do is I might put a, a hot glue on it and pat it first before I line it so that there's no pokage. My Halloween blanket that I made a few years ago from, um, Maria's Blue Crown, it has some safety eyes on it and I lined it with, um, uh, fleece. Is that right? Fleece is not the right word. <laughs> um. And you can kind of feel the safety eyes, but only if you're like, like if you put your hand and push or your knee or something, you know. But when it's actually on you as a blanket, you don't really feel the safety eyes. 
so I'm not too worried about it. But anyways, that's what I worked on. <laughs> it wasn't on Wednesday, but I worked on this, and I did work on that one project, but I think I'm going to end up frogging it because I'm just not enjoying it, and I don't want to make something for the sake of making it. I want to make stuff that I enjoy. I really love making these squares. I wish that they came out sooner than once a month. But, um, and it's supposed to be, I think, th mm, yes, this one is smaller, but I'm going to stretch it. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I'm going to make it work. I think it's four across three, three down. No, it's three across four down. So it's going to be small, like a, like a crib size blanket. And I'm not into that. I don't need a crib size blanket and especially one with, you know, features on it that a baby could potentially get off. So what I think I'm going to do is once I'm done with all the animal squares in December, um, I think I might put squares in between each of them. So I might put like a blank square, bear, blank square, horse, blank square, Lion blank square, right? That'd be seven across. And then how many would that be down? That'd be four, uh, five, six, seven. It'd be seven by seven. That'd be a big old square. I don't know. I'm going to do something like that <laughs> to uh, make it bigger. Because I like making these kind of blankets functional for us here, you know, to use on the couch and stuff. Um, and a, a three by four is not going to be functional for us. And like I said, I don't want to give it to a baby because of these and this stuff, you know. Um, anyways, that's what I've been working on. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been working on. And feel free to share any links and stuff so I can check it out and get some ideas. Because I just kind of have like a burnt out moment. And um, yeah, so I did want to, uh, I am planning on making some Easter things. I already found some patterns that I want to work on, but I'm not going to share them yet because of that video coming out next week. So I will share them then. But they're cute, and I think they'll work out pretty quick. So I will definitely share those next week. So that if you want to make them for your uh, the little people in your life, you can do that. So now I'm going to just get blab a little bit because it's been a while since I made a video. I think um, Friday maybe was the last time. I was supposed to be doing a video every day for <laughs> a 100-day project. But it turned out it's a lot harder to do with two kids than I thought it was going to be. But that's okay. So I'll just pop up when I can, and when I can't, I'll... It's because the kid's driving me crazy. <laughs> but I wanted to hop on here real quick. My sister gave me one of the magnets that she made. So it is a magnet. Pretty thin. I don't know the size. <laughs> but this has got the whip card on it. And see how glittery it is? So pretty. Um, and it just says whip card. And I feel like I'm going to have to edit this video. It looks like my video is lagging with my voice again. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so she's going to hopefully be making more of these. She's working on the shipping for them because in order to ship magnets, at least in the U S they have to be attached to something and it has to be, um, like stiff, like a piece of cardboard or something like that so that it doesn't get stuck in any of the machinery that the little envelopes and stuff go through. Uh, so she's working on that. And then she's also got to look into how to ship them internationally because I don't know if there's any like rules about that, you know? Uh, and she has opened up her shop to ship internationally. It just took her a minute to figure out how to do it. Uh, but she has done that. And since doing that, she has made an international sale or two, I think. I think she got one from Canada and one from the UK somewhere. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. But it is so pretty. So eventually there will be magnets in the shop. And uh, these could technically be used on a car. Except the vinyl I'm trying to remember the words is not uv protected so it would eventually fade so you could put it on your car but it would fade after a while and so it would be more better more appropriate <laughs> to use it indoors somewhere like i have this one hanging on my refrigerator we also have a metal front door so i could stick it on there if i wanted to um i know some whip carts are metal my sister's is mine's plastic but my sister has one and hers is metal um i don't know what else is metal that you could see too that toolbox is metal <laughs> uh Maybe metal cups, like flasks. I don't know. I don't have any of those big old cups people carry around with them. Uh, just anything like that, you know. It's just super cute. But there's that. And then also, last time I was at her house other day, I swapped me some stickers. So I did get me the sticker version of that to put somewhere to go with my other ones. And then this is the, this is one of the newer ones. It says it's not knitting. It's got a crochet hook and it's super glittery. It's not glittery. It's like holographic. And then this one says crochet all day. I love that. And then I had to get one of these ones. Crocheting true crime. I'm actually going to get her to make me a shirt with this on it. But, you know, bigger. Uh, I just have to. I forgot to get a shirt. I meant to do that the other day when I was at Hobby Lobby. Because I got cheap shirts there. Like $3. 
but I forgot to do that. Um, but she's going to make the image bigger and put it on a shirt for me. I love that. <laughs> but uh, this is my favorite sticker she's made. I think it's so cute. She also has one that says knit and true crime if you're a knitter. So I'll leave her shop. Her shop's always linked below. So go check her out and give her some love. If you don't want to buy any stickers, at least favor them and favor her shop. That way, the more hearts that a shop has, the more it's put out when people do searches. So um, it'll help other people that don't watch me or don't know her to find her stickers. But we are working on a bunch of different designs and stuff. And also I wanted to show you these. These ones are her oops. <laughs> Which she said she might start selling oops in the future. It's stickers that didn't cut right or something like that. But she gave these ones to me and I wanted to share them with you. So this is a design idea actually I gave her. And uh, these, are, these are sheets of stickers which I think is cool. And she's going to be working on more sheets for like journaling and stuff. Um, and this is one right here that I gave her the idea for. So it is a start date and finish date for people who keep track of their projects like in a notebook. You could... Um, you know, put the start sticker on there and write, you know, I don't know, April 1st, 2023. And then when you finished the project, you would put, you know, April 10th, 2023, whatever day you finished it. And that way you can keep, you know, green is starting, red is stopping. Um, so I, thought, I told her that was a cool idea. She got her little name down there. So these are just ones that printed a little uh, off. I don't know if you could see it, but like um, they just didn't. They're not centered. So she gave me those two. I got two of those. And this one. Wait, no, it's these two. These two didn't cut out at all or something. I don't know. It's like one big sheet. I'll have to cut it out myself to use it, which is totally fine. I don't mind. So I'm gonna do that. So I got a bunch of those now for myself. <laughs> but um I have been giving her more ideas of like little yarn balls and stuff. Just because I know a lot of people journal and they want to use things that's associated with them. And also, um, in our craft journals, you know, where we keep track of our product projects, it'd be cool to put little like stickers of yarn balls and crochet hooks and stuff. Um, so we're working on all that, all that kind of stuff. It just takes time. But right now, I think she's got 19 different designs in her shop, and 18 of them are stickers, and one of them is this magnet. It's <laughs> so cute. I love it. And it works good. It's nice and thick. Like, it's thin, but it's thick. Does that make sense? It kind of reminds me of the one I think we got in a knit crate box that's a little sheep with a magnet around it. I got that on my fridge too. Um, it's a little bit thinner though, the sheep one, but I don't know, this has been on my fridge for a while. It looks it's perfect. <laughs> so that's my sister's shop, which is called Made by Hattie Co. on Etsy. I'll link it below. It's, it's in the description of all my videos from the other day from now. I put it in there to always be on there because um, she's my sister and I want to support her. But yeah, and also in my shop right now, there's still a few bags. They're right there, <laughs> stacked up. Um, they're all on sale until I think the 25th. Is that Friday, next Friday? I think it's the 25th. They're all a fourth off. So they're 25% off between now and I believe it's March 25th. I think that's what I put on there. I like to run random sales every now and then just to try to push bags out that's been in there for a while. Um, and then eventually if they don't sell <laughs> before I do my next shop update, if I don't choose to just leave them in there, I'll put them in giveaways because um, I just like to keep things rolling, you know, so I don't have just a stack of bags sitting around forever. But yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about right now. I did pull out my scrap band. You want to see it? It's horrible. It's horrible, y'all. I used to keep it so organized. This is like one of those, I don't know how many gallons this is. 18 gallon plastic tubs. Look at that mess. Look at that. <laughs> it's horrible. I pulled this out to make those Easter ambergrimis because I was like, surely I got um, some colors in there that I can use. And I do. It's just I'm going to have to work for them. <laughs> it is a big old mess in here. And I dread fixing it. Look at all that. Oh my god. I used to keep them separated in bags by color. And I, it got really low. So I was like, well, I'll just pour them all in there together. And that's where I messed up. And this is some uh, faux fur that I was gifted. I just threw it in there because I didn't have nowhere else to put it. This one's coming out of its ball band. So that's the bucket that I'm going to be digging through to try to find colors for those Easter projects that I'll be working on soon. And then also in there, I have this bag. I just threw it in there also. This is a bag that was gifted to me by my yarny friend Connie. And she has her own YouTube channel called Connie's Crafting Corner. Is that right? She always messes up her name and now I'm messing it up. Um, I'll link her below too. She, um, she has, I have vi visited with her in person twice. Her daughter lives fairly close to where we live. So I'll probably get to see her on my forever. <laughs> unless her daughter moves but she um she came to give me some other stuff and she asked me if i wanted this too and it was just this cute project bag 
which I don't know if she wants that back. And then she had started a sweater. I think it's a Hexi sweater. I don't know how to hold that. <laughs> but it's pretty purple color. It's kind of blown out. And it is a knit crate. It is Aldine Wool's Interlock. And it's cotton, linen, lyle seal, and nylon. And I think she said there's five. There's four right here that's not been used. And then there's one that all that's worked from. So there's five hanks all together. Uh, 351 yards. So 351 times five. So all I gotta do is just pull this out. And then I got all these other ones. It's, it's a really pretty purple color. Per, like a ombre purple. But it looks gray right now because of the lighting. I don't know if it does when I go back to edit it. But it's really pretty. So I'm going to be using this for something eventually. <laughs> I've just been keeping it in this bag that she gave it to me in. So that it stays clean and not all like those balls in there. Um, so I'm going to stuff all this back in there. And so all I got to do is frog this and then I'll figure out something to make with that. <laughs> Get in there. But yeah, so I got some cute cotton yarn and a cute product bag. I don't know if she wants that back. But if I see her again, whew, it's very fuzzy. <laughs> I will see if she wants to back. But anyways, yeah, so that's it. I've just been blabbing for a while. I wanted to hop on here and just talk for a little bit because it's been a while since I made a video. I really love the squares. I like making squares. They're, they're good projects because you can just whip it out and um, feel like you did something. <laughs> so now I'm going to go dig through that bucket and try to find some yarns for those emigrants I want to make. Try to get them done before next week because that's going to be my new spring project. I will show that one in the other video that I was working on, but I probably will frog it afterwards because I'm just not enjoying it. And I don't want to waste yarn, good yarn on it, if it's something that I'm not ever going to use or wear, you know. So I could save the yarn and use it for another project in the future. So that's probably what I will do. Yeah, so. Anyways, I don't know if the yarn ball looks a little different. I've added a few balls that I found randomly throughout the house. <laughs> and actually, there were a few skeins in my um, scrap bucket. I guess I stuffed them in there out of convenience. And so I know there's at least one more Aaron, and there's another one of these browns. It's like a half, almost half used one. Less than, almost say, more than half used. It's like a real floppy one. I stuffed it in there. <laughs> and I think I added another yellow up there. I don't know. Why can't I get that to aim right? There we go. Yeah, there's all, most of my yarn. I do have a bunch of variegated and cake yarns in the living room. Because, um, I, I know I couldn't fit them on there, so I just left them where they're at. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I finished up my sewing that I was doing for some, like, bags for other people, not shop bags, and I cleaned my sewing machine really good, and I cleaned the table off really good, so it's all ready. I already got fabric picked out for the next update, which will be probably be the very end of March or the very beginning of April. Um, yeah. I want to go fabric shopping, because I want to get some, um prints that are like character prints. I haven't done character prints in forever because I've been mostly using fabric that was gifted to me, which I super appreciate. I actually think all the fabric that I'm going to be using in the next update is gifted fabric. Um, I really appreciate when people send me fabric, but I also sometimes want, I like picking out fabrics for the shop. So I might do that sometime in April, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but I did also get some more um, handles. I don't know if you can see them right there. They're a little bit darker than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be more like a... Um, like an Aran color, but they're more like this color. <laughs> so they may not match with most of the prints that I wanted to make totes. So I might have to get some more handles. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to order those online than at Hobby Lobby. I used to get them at Hobby Lobby because they used to be $1.99 a yard. And then every other week they were on sale for half off. But now they're two ninety nine a yard. So it's only 50 cents more. But you know, it adds up when you're having to buy yards and yards and yards of it to make bags with. So... It's so online on Amazon. I can buy them and after, even after shipping, um, which I normally pick free shipping because I don't care if it comes later. <laughs> um, after taxes and everything, it's still like 80 something cents a yard instead of $1.50 a yard. So I try to save pennies when I can. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gibbering at this moment. So I'm going to hop off here, dig out some yarns, watch some murder shows and crochet. And then I got to start cooking some fried chicken because I'm going to make Jesse some he likes fried chicken, so I don't I don't cook it often because I hate cooking it. It makes a mess, you know. So I'm going to make him some fried chicken. And uh, then when they come home, we're going to eat it, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.